Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back on Fullcraft today. If you recall, last time we worked on this system, which is a bunch of the crushers and working on that sort of thing. We had a little problem with this. Uh, Kent helped me out with it. And so the first thing we're going to do today, we're going to make some corrections to this and get this working. Before I do that, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been subscribing. Uh, last count, just earlier today, I crossed over the 1,000 mark. So uh, that means that YouTube has now put my account under review for um, monetization. So they're saying it'll be a month or so. That's what they say. But eventually I will be getting uh, to become monetized, which will really help uh, with what I'm trying to do and the expenses I have with creating this channel and running Twitch. And soon I hope to be able to open up a server for all those people who uh, are on my Patreon, which I haven't really set up, and who are my uh, Twitch subscribers. So. That's coming soon. It just depends on really what happens with YouTube. But again, thank you everybody for subscribing. And all the likes and the comments, those are great. And those things are loud. I'm going to have to get some muffler blocks over there. Okay, well, we're going to get started with this in just a second. What we found in testing was that these blocks, the redstone ore blocks, the lapis blocks, and the aquamarine shale were not being picked up and processed correctly inside of these. And because of that, they would be sitting outside, just sitting there, and we would generate lots of lag with all these entities that were just laying around. So we have a filter on here now, and I have blacklisted those. So we're good to go. But now the system is now blocked up because we got so much of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pulverizers. We know that work up here. Let's go back up to the base. We're going to take the pulverizers out, and we're going to put those in line, whitelisting those three mm -hmm. items. And then have that go into that green white green chest that we use which is the chest that has goes to whatever we're using to smelt okay so the system should be then running fine okay so we're gonna take uh oh yeah i moved them out ah okay we're gonna take those and this is what a green white green chest i think it is if you can see in there uh yeah green white green okay well then let me go back and we'll do this again uh we had three of those pulverizers i'm gonna put them right here and we're going to work in behind here with that system. Okay, so all the plumbing and that sort of work will go behind there. So let's get the pulverizers. There they are. And maybe I should put them in one more block. I think I will put them in one more block. So let's do that here. And that way they're in a little bit. And the reason why I'm doing that is so I can get to the actual all the different sides of it. Uh, to be able to at, hook up, like, for instance, power on one side and item input on the other thing and output on the other. Okay, so let's get in here. And if you remember, I made a nice block so that I could get into this area. There we go. And two more. And there should be, right here, the ender chest. Excellent. Now, we have to basically get items out of here into here. We have to power these. Let's go up here. have to power the system and then we have to have the output going into a green white green ender chest okay sound good so let me uh, get the ender chest ready to go first and then we'll move on to the next step all right I've hooked up all the lines going output here let's supply power so I'm gonna put these uh, energy con conduits on top and we're gonna put the flux plug right there and there we go select our base and now that should have power for these. This is great. I hear intermittent, sound, intermittent sounds with this. Very so often you hear that just go off, which I don't know why it's doing that. But now we just got to get the items out of here. And we'll do that really quick. Uh, let's see here. Let's go get another one of those. Let's use the conduits again. I know we don't need it, but we have these. It works really well. And we just got to get a servo. There we go. Okay, so we're going to pop one of these off here. We're going to put a servo on here, and we're going to basically set this for uh, whitelist. And let's get an example of each of these. Okay. Whitelist that, whitelist that, and that. And we'll set it to round robin. That noise is just really bothering me. I apologize for that. And then we'll just come out here. That should be it, I would think. I think it'd be ready to go. Uh, I did not turn it on. Oh, I forgot to turn it on. And, of course, that means I gotta go back to it. Ah! Okay, there we go. Now it should be ready to go. Any items coming through? There they go. 
Okay, now they're running, and there's the redstone coming through. Great. So this system is now working. I don't have to worry about this. I just got to put some torches down and clean it up, and that'll make it work fine. And then now I, other items can come through and go into the system. And you can see it's already filtering through some of the items. So we're basically set up. So the project for today, after we fix that, is we're going to make the arc furnace. It says it's not a reactor. This is a large uh, structure. It's a five by five area. And what it has is a way to basically do the smelting of the minerals down into ingots and things. The dust that we've been generating from here. We're going to put that on this side of the room. So I'm thinking I will do, I don't know, five by five. I could probably do three of them. So let's do three of these and let's see what we got to get here. And let's try to get all this stuff and let's make this, okay? This should be fairly easy to get. And I'm not going to do that all on camera here. I think that you've seen me do this stuff. I'm going to get what we need and get it all into my inventory here. And uh, then we'll just go from there. So let me go and gather this up. Took me a little while, but I've got everything that we need here to start this process up. You can see I've got everything there. So now this is the center line. And you can see here I went through the, there's a, this dark black block, a lighter brown, and two blocks. And then we started up here with a third one. And then we had the machine. So I'm going to do the same thing here on the center line. So this is right here is one, two, three, and we start the machine on this block. Now I'm, I know from looking at this, it looks like the cauldron is the center of the block. Okay. Let's go look at the picture again. You can see here it does this like structure, but the cauldron is the center. Okay. So we're going to start to build this up and I'm going to, maybe I'll do this and I might probably I'll do this with a time lapse. You'll see me referencing this a lot, but hopefully we'll get this one done fairly quickly. Okay. Okay, I think it's done, and if it worked out right, somewhere on here you hit it with a hammer. Maybe the cauldron. Let's see here. Trying to figure out where to hit it. It's not working. It looks like it's designed right. I don't know. Let me keep on looking. This looks correct from what I can see. So maybe these steel blocks are wrong. It counted them as being okay, so it should work, but uh, I'm not quite sure. This is very strange. Okay, well, um, oh wait. There's another block missing right here. Let's try that. I don't know. I'll have to take a look. Let me figure this out. Wow. I also missed those. Okay, now. Pressing both buttons here. Oh, there it went. Hey, hey, we got it. We got it. One of these reactors. That is awesome looking. That's very awesome looking. Now, this is going to be the device that's going to be pouring all of our hot metal and making it into the various ingots and things from this system. Okay. Wow. Well, I have to build a few more of these, at least two more. So let me do that right now, and then we'll get set up and work on getting this all hooked up. And there they are, three of these arc furnaces. So now we're going to have to get into the configuration, which I still need to read up on. So I'm going to do that right now, and then we're going to get these all running. We're going to do this step by step here. First part says that energy is input through the three connectors at the back and supplying the control panel at the front with a redstone signal will turn off the machine. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I'm going to make some levers or levers as they are set on my server for some reason. And we're going to put these on here like that. Okay, and that should, there's our interface. It's supplying a redstone signal when I turn them on. So it should be turned off. Okay, now we're going to, have to make some more of the flux things and put them in the back here. Okay, I don't know if it's this here or those there. 
So let's go look for that. We have the flux, and I know I'm going to need some of these things here. At least three of those, and then we can make three of these. Okay. So this should, if I go in here and do the pirate base, should give it an interface. So if you look here, yes, it's fully charged. Now, if you look at this one, it's not. Okay. So we'll put this one here. Okay, and that should be fully charged. Good. And then we'll put this one over here. Okay, so now we have power to all of these systems. Okay, what's next on here? Well, we got to turn the page. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. This talks about the interface. Let's skip this for a second. Inputs and additives. Uh, the arc first will automatically push out uh, output and slag into connected inventory. So I'm going to put... Out in front, I'm going to put some crates. We're going to use these crates for now. And then we'll tie it into the system in a bit. So it'll be right there. Okay, so I guess the next part is we got to figure out um, on the interface that it has. This is input. You have the graphite rods. These are like additives, and this is output. The graphite rods is going to be the hard part, and let's try to figure that out now. To run these, we have to use these graphite electrodes, and it takes four... HOP, I'm not sure what that means, I'm just say hop, granite, graphite ingots, not granite ingots, graphite ingots. Okay, so how do you make those? And we got to find that out. Looks like it's taken from, the dust is created by compressing eight pieces of, of coke dust in an industrial squeezer. Okay, so if we look into the system here, we're trying to get this, this ingots right here. Which dust is fine. We can just easily make that. Okay. So there's the dust. And how do you make the dust? It's used from an industrial squeezer. So we have to make the squeezer. And we have to make a bunch of coke dust. Okay. So that's where we're going to, I think, next is making the coke dust first. Uh, and we make that, I believe, through a coke oven, right? Let's see. I believe so. So let's try to make a coke oven. We can put it back here. We have some space. And I've allowed space for that. So I'm going to get the ingredients for the Coke oven here, and we'll set this up. All right, we're going to make the advanced co uh, Coke oven, or Coke oven advanced. It's pretty easy. As you can see, it's just basically a square with a hopper on top, and then you hit hit it with a hammer. So I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to put it behind this thing, give it a little space so we can walk around. Probably right here is good. And we'll just do that. And then this is the blocks, and we'll just go up like that. Okay and then fill it in and get on top put down the hopper right there and you should be able to hit it and there it is that's the advanced coke oven that's pretty cool now it usually has an interface here this is where we put in the coal and we get coke out so i'm going to have to wire this up so let's see here let's go get some uh coal running into it real quick we got a lot of coal so and there we go it runs out now we need to have two different in outputs here and I, one of these is which one? I'm not sure. But it's running, isn't it? Yes, it's running. It's not very fast, though, is it? For the... says this is the fast one. It's fast. Uh, let's see. allows whatever. Furnace is made from reinforced. Similar to the improved blast furnace, coke is output out the front. And the grease is at the back. Coal is fed in through the top. Coke oven preheaters are used to speed up the refinement process of coal. So we have to use these preheaters. Each oven can have up to two preheaters connected to the ports on each side. So right here is the output. And back here would be where the oil goes. And that's all we need. So let's uh, let's take another crate here. See, it's very slow at the moment. But I think with those preheaters, which I'll do next, will work pretty well. Okay, I'm going to put that there. That should work th for that. And then let's get a drum... Um, I've got some drums here, but they're not, uh, no, they're kind of full. Or can you get rid of these? I think you can. If you do, what do you do? It? You put it up here and it makes it empty. I think. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it'll output that way. Let's go put it out a little bit more. Actually, let's put it right here. And we'll get a fluid duct and put that up into it. Do I think, oh, come on fluid ducts. I'm sure I should. Yeah. 
fluid duct and a servo. Might as well use the good ones that we have. There we go. You can already see it went in there, so it's probably good. But I'll just put this on here anyway. There we go. So we got 500 creosote oil and we are generating cold coke. Okay, let me go look at what it takes to do these uh, preheater things. Okay, we need to make six, so that'd be 12 iron sheet metal and four external heaters. So if we go in here, an iron sheet metal, it takes basically iron plate, which we can do pretty easily here. In fact, I think I already got some of that in the inventory. So let's go check here. We need what, we said 12 of these. So there's that. And then we need to get the external heater. And this might take a little bit here. Let's go look. Okay, the external heater takes everything we got there except for the copper coil block. We got iron ingots. What are the copper, those things? Do we have any of those? We do have some. So we probably built those before. And we got 12 of those. That's not bad. It's not going to be enough, but we can make at least one of these. Okay, so we need to get more of... What is it we need? Probably the... Yeah, I would think it would be the copper. This stuff here. So it's not that. It's a bunch of copper... Well, we got copper first plates, right? So... Let's take a stack of that, and we'll take the hammer. Should give us a stack. And we ran out of the hammer. That's not bad. Okay, so let's go put this back, and let's get the cutters. Yeah. And just because, we'll throw it up here. You would think it would give you, like, double the amount. I think I've said that in another video, but that's okay. And let's, let's go to here. as much as we can there that's not bad and then what do we need to make three more of these there we go and that and there we have the external heaters so that should make put those back in our inventory we want to make the preheater which is that two of those there we go now let's see how these work here want to attach how do they attach? Uh, to the sides, but it's not hooking up. Let me read the instructions again in a second, and I'll find out. Yeah, uh, all you have to do is actually hit hold down shift, and there they go. Now, do these things take power? It looks like they take IF. I'm assuming that's like some sort of power just similar to redstone. So we're going to uh, we're going to use more flux, I guess. So can we make more of these? Uh, really? We can't make one of those? I was going to say, we can make that. There we go. Got those and two more flux points. Okay. And I'm assuming if we put this on here and power this up, that this now has... Is that power? Does that have a system or an interface? Well, you can look up at the top. It says it's got eight, almost 8,000 out of 8,000. Let's put this other one over here. Power it up. There we go, and now it's going. It's going faster. It's not great. Um, I wish they could chain these together. That'd be really cool. Uh, we may have to build a whole another one of these to get more of the uh, coke, and I think I will do that just because. So let me do that in off camera here, and then we'll have more of the uh, coke being produced. Second one is built right there. I've added the coal up top, so it'll just feed in here and it'll always be there. And we are getting some cold coke. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make this squeezer. You put the cold coke in the squeezer and it'll make the dust. So we gotta get this puff, which is a bunch of different things too. So I will work on getting that now. Hopefully it's not as slow as the other things. So let me just gather it up and uh, we'll do the assembly over here. This looks like it's done. We hit this, there it goes. And it looks like we put input through here, I believe, and the output comes right here. If that makes any sense, uh, let's make sure I'm right. Uh, items can be input into the squeezer via the two hatches at the back that are marked with blue. The hatch with the orange dot serves as an item output and the block below it to output fluids. So this is the output right here. We're going to use that. So let's, um, for now, I'm gonna use crates again. Those things work great. Actually, I only need two, probably. Uh, put that one back. We want one for the output here. 
And I'll put this one right here next to this. Can I not put it there? Uh, I thought so. Okay. Now let's go grab some of this coke because this should work. I may have to supply power. I'm not sure yet. Everything else takes power, so why wouldn't this? Um, but it goes into here. And it probably takes RF. And where would that go? Would that be one of these blocks here? Probably. Let's make a flex again. It's fun doing this on the fly. <laughs> I need one of those. Need that. And that. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Now, where does that go? This is like fluid output, output. Input, input is on this thing here. I guess. Does that give it power? There, it's got power. Okay. So, why isn't this stuff coming in and working? Does it take a switch? It might take a switch. Let's make a lever real quick. Or a lever. There we go. Anything? No. So something's up here. What did we get wrong? We did something wrong. Uh, let's just make sure it's working first. Let's go into here and put... Uh, Put eight in. I don't see anything happening. Is it happening here? No. Hmm. Let's go and read, I guess, right? Oop, that's got some stuff in it. Apply a red machine to the front of the will halt the machine's process. Okay. Fine. Following list shows various items that can be squeezed. Yes, I know it can be squeezed. I believe we made the right thing. An industrial squeezer. That's what it says. Compressing eight dust into coke dust. So why is it not working? I'm going to experiment again, everybody. We'll figure this out. And I think I have figured this out. These things have to be crushed. Okay? This is not the right form for this. If I go over here, and my flight again, oh, my flight's off. That's just terrible. This thing always does. I don't know if you've ever experimented with these... Uh, Nanobot beacons, but mine always shuts off if I ever log out and come back in. And all I have to do is replace it, and then it's good for the rest of the time I'm on. See, there's the lights kicked on. That's just weird. Anyway, if you crush this down, we'll go over here. I'll put it in one of these. No, it doesn't take it. Ooh, interesting. Okay, well then, let's uh, put it in one of these. How about that? It should pick it up. There it went. It's gone. So it'll be going into here, which, by the way, is kind of full up. I'll get some of this coal out of here because we can put the coal over here. And that'll free up space for the machine. Now let's we'll see if we get some of this uh, stuff out of it that we want. Wow, it fills up pretty quick. Uh, I'm going to free some of this space up. I turned it off so that I could then get it ready for this, and maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um, but we'll see. Let me put this away real quick. And then how's this going here? Wow, it fills up quickly, but I don't see any of the dust that we're looking for. So I'm going to wait for a little bit for the system to process, and then when it comes in, I will uh, take a look at that and show you what's going on. All right. I have some of this Coke dust. It takes eight. There it goes. It processes the dust. You can see it's kind of squeezing it. I don't know why the lights are fading. It does that. But anyway, it's going to make the graphite here. Okay, And this stuff, if you stick it in a regular old furnace, it will then make the ingots that we need. Okay, So is this still processing? No, it's not. So it made eight bars. And if you recall, eight bars, if you go look at the, um, the, art, the furnace here, Four bars makes that. So we need at least another four bars. This is very expensive. we got a lot of work to do to get all of this stuff here. But it's worth it. We basically take coal to make coke. Okay, then the coke comes in here. Or no, it goes over in the crusher. It gets made into dust. Dust goes in here. We squeeze it down and we get this this uh, graphite dust. And then we got to go to a furnace. Which I'm going to the one, run to the ones upstairs to make. And we're going to make the rods. We are so close to getting this one running. 
Okay, I have three of those rods. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna put those in there. Now, I believe they look like they're up here. Yes, they do. Excellent. Okay, so now if we take some of this dust I've been getting, let's just grab a stack here of something. Um, iron looks really good. Iron's the easy one, right? So if you put it in here, is it off? It is off. You can see it's getting ready to pour it out or do something with it. And there it goes. And it does it that quick. Okay. Now I think, I think with this, you can go like this. Okay. And so there it pours out and it's really fast and we got a lot with it. So you can have a bunch of things going into this and working. And that's what's kind of cool about it. So let's grab some of these and just see what happens. Okay. Not the glowstone. Okay. I'm just going to stick some of these in here. And just look at them. They're going quick. Look at that output. Oh my gosh, that's quick. So this thing can really cook. I may not have even need these other ones, really. This is really all we need. Now the graphite electrodes are being used up, so we'll have to make more, but we've got the infrastructure to do that now. Just add more stuff here. So basically, I gotta make sure that I get this hooked up to the system. And I'm gonna do that in the next video and finish this up because I'm running out of time for this. But this works great. I'm gonna take a snapshot of this right now. And there it is, there's a screenshot. I can use that for the thumbnail. But this is working fantastic. Well, everybody, I got my bunny ears on. I wanna say thank you to everybody. Um, I have crossed over the 1,000 subscriber point. And so now my account is under review by YouTube to be monetized. So here in a little bit, they say a month, I should be monetized and the, the channel is growing. And I want to thank you, yes you, for helping me out. Um, I couldn't have done it without you and I, I thank you for all the support. Many of my Tinkers Unions people, members, have been trying very helpful, very hard to help me out. I'm lost for words. I do that sometimes when I'm excited. Uh, so anyway, if you like this video and this series, please hit that like button. And if you like the other series I'm doing, go over there and watch it. We're working on a vanilla for 1.13. That'd be fantastic. I will try to work on soon a 1,000 subscriber special. I haven't done that yet, but I'll work on that and hopefully get that out soon. If you have any comments about this video or anything else that I um, am doing, please let me know. Uh, I know many congratulations are coming in the comments, and I look forward to reading those. Um, you're like extended family to me in a way. Uh, having all all of you out there watching me and giving me suggestions and, and uh, talking with me. So thanks again. Finally, of course, uh, if you are new here, please subscribe. We can always count on more subscribers, getting those things going up. And that way we uh, grow the channel even further, okay? And don't forget to hit the little, bu little bell icon. And that way you'll get the notifications, okay? So again, a little bit slower closing than I normally do. I want to say thank you again, everybody. So have a great day. Bye-bye.